so on guys this is AG Dubai so it's been a while since i posted last and i'm getting back on it this is my review of the Nokia 6.1 not the plus but just the 6.1 let's go So Nokia came up with the Nokia 6.1 a few months ago and let's be honest, it did not appease the critics. But I have some different thoughts about it. So that's what I'll be sharing in this video and maybe it will help to make a purchase decision about this product. Uh, let's start with the specs of this thing. So it has got a 5.5 inch full HD IPS display. 3 or 4 gigs of RAM options, uh, the model that I tested has 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, expandable up to 128 gigs, Android 8.0 audio and it is under the Android 1 program, Snapdragon 630 processor and a 3000 mAh battery coupled with 16 megapixel f2.0 rear camera and 8 megapixel f2.0 front camera. The specs are pretty decent on paper, not too high, not too low but somewhere in between moving on to the design now since this is nokia the build quality is just excellent it is made out of solid block of aluminium and this feels really good in hands the metal bands around the edge give it a more premium look uh, than its actual price which is a very good deal the fingerprint scanner is where it's supposed to be right in the right position and it's fast and responsive well then nokia Although there is no 18 is to 9 aspect ratio, so I guess it is not as 2018ized. The other thing that is not so 2018ized about this phone is the camera. There's just a single freaking sensor at the back. Now I know what you're saying. Single camera in 2018? No. But the pictures came out to be good. In spite of having single camera, it's a Zeiss lens obviously and obviously you would not be getting portrait shots on this but in good lighting conditions, the camera is decent but in bad lighting, it is awful. Now in the camera menu, uh, there is one menu called dual side. Here's the thing, why? I don't find it useful, I can't even imagine a scenario while you'll be using both the cameras at the same time in order to take simultaneous pictures of two different objects like if, if you know some of those scenarios let me know what those scenarios are it, it would be really interesting to know now uh, let's talk about the speakers i have mixed feelings about them here's why number one their position is not the greatest and when you hold it like this it is easy to block them like it's super easy to block them but the speakers are actually really loud what am i to say like 7 out of 10 now let's talk about performance this phone is running android oreo and it is under the android one program so it receives security updates and feature updates directly from google which makes the process much faster you know the usual android one things i haven't found a lag in normal day-to-day -day usage as Snapdragon 636 handles a lot of that stuff like butter. A thing here to mention though is that the phone becomes hot while playing games on it for long periods of time and also while charging. But otherwise, it is fine. Speaking of charging, this phone has 3000 mAh of battery, which sure is less than what the current standard is and could be a deal breaker for a lot of you. But on normal use, you can get around the day with 25 to 30% of battery still in the phone. On heavy days, this percentage might drop down to like 16 to 18% at max. But because it supports uh, fast charging over USB-C, I'm happy. So there you have it. The review of the Nokia 6.1. Obviously, there are a lot of things that make it a bit old and that is why I think they are launching the Nokia 6.1 Plus which is going to come out on August 21st. Hashtag I said all of that in a single breath. Now here's the thing, Nokia could have lowered down the prices for 
uh, this particular model the 6.1 and just might have boosted up the sales but if you're interested in this product and you want to buy it i'll drop down a link in the description of this video for you to buy it and while you're in there make sure to subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon like this video and share it with your friends that's pretty much it thanks for watching see you guys next time bye